Hi, I'm Richards and today I'll show you how to make this video. After importing all the videos and photos you want to work with into Premiere Pro, Select the identify the video that you want to work on and just drag to the timeline. And from there you can just scrub through the video to identify to confirm that this is the right video and uh, how long you want the video to be. And at the end of the video you can bring the mouse pointer and it will change because the shape and you can just drag it and adjust the time of the video. Now once the length of the video is set, now you want to go to the uh, project files where you have all the files and identify the photo you want to uh, put it as the background. Now drag and drop to the, the drag and drop that uh, photo onto the timeline above your uh, video. You might want to scale up the video. I mean, okay, scale up the photo to fit the full frame. May probably your window will be looking at it different. Where uh, you can uh, navigate to the settings sections and uh, find effects and control. And you can you want to go to the opacity setting. Maybe press down this uh, press on this arrow key so it will drop down the next menus and everything and from there you want to select uh, overlay Either you can you want to change this normal to overlay now once that is done the next you want to do is that go over and select this pen shape tool this is called the masking tool and now masking tool is one of the most powerful tool in in the entire realm of video editing you can do a lot of things with it now let me show you how I how I do, how I make this background or this make the space picture go behind the video. Now, after changing it to overlay, now you want to select this pen tool and just create a mask with it. Now, select the three points. Uh, now, the one thing that you want to be sure about is that when you do a masking, it is better to do um, over and straight line. Like uh, it is wiping across the screen, so it will be easier to track them. Now, uh, I will show you how I track my mask uh, before that you want to press this mask path button that stopwatch symbol uh, next to the mask mask path uh, it will track every uh, every changes that you make to the mask path now that is important if you if you fail to click that <laughs> this won't work now that is very important uh, now what you want to do is that uh, once the mask path is set you want to create a small uh, mask in the very out of the window and progress uh, forward a little bit in the time and so the frame will uh, you know you will have a new frame will appear and once that happens you want to uh, click on the drag click at the very end of this mask path and and drag it to match with the uh, wiping edge on the screen now uh, do this for uh, for the entire duration of the clip this is actually in painstaking job uh, it will take time and it, it, you need a lot of patience. Everything in the realm of video editing is down to how patient you are. Uh, it is not just about how talented you are, it is also about how, how much patience you have. Now the effect is looking pretty good already. You can see the, um, the background picture is uh, already replaced and everything. But you, if you look closely, you can see a lot of stars on the uh, wall here. Now that is not acceptable. You want to make that go away we just want this uh this, ten, this picture to be only on the sky now what we are going to do the same settings we are going to copy the uh, copy the uh, initial original video and we are going to place it over the uh, overlay so we'll have uh, like uh, a second video placed over that and we'll be just doing a mask around this uh, wall so uh, that that part will be preserved and everything this this entire uh, star structure will be uh, minus from that uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do that uh, in the settings uh, like in the effects and control under the mask you can see something called the feathering feathering is actually how soft the edge of the mask should be like higher the feathering it will uh, span out evenly across a very large area but if, if the feathering is zero it will be like a straight edge cut so it is important to um, uh, set in mask you know feathering to a little bit higher value it will uh, it, the translation will look much smoother uh, this way of masking is not just applicable to this just this only to this video you can do this to any other videos and you can achieve the same result pretty much in anywhere it is one of the most powerful tools and quite often you will be coming across this particular masking tool like you can do a lot of things with it uh, green screen green, green screening matting everything and uh, we will look at all those things eventually uh, 
so first let's continue with this and finish this and now you can see that I'm making a separate mask on a separate video like on the same video but it's a different copy and I'm doing this uh, step by step you can uh, you know like uh, frame by frame uh, I'll fast forward so it will be easier for you to watch you don't have to stick around for the whole whole, whole video uh, I mean the whole duration now you can see I am uh, progressing in the timeline and just draw it uh, and masking each individual frame like so you can actually completely uh, obscure the background from uh, you know with this replace this uh, like wall and everything you really have to be incredible patient when you do this and like in, in the world of editing this is one of the key thing Now if you look at this, the effect is pretty much done, uh, yes it is looking quite good actually. Now there is a little bit of edge here that is not uh, you know exactly matched with the edge of the wall, I mean edge of this particular structure. Uh, if, if, if you want to go and into the settings and you can change it, uh, increase the feathering, uh, masking, masking expansion everything and you can see it is already done actually pretty much the effect is done now what you can do is that apply in uh, cinema scope like this black bars you can just download it from youtube i mean sorry uh, google some png and you can just overlay it now it will it will give this dramatic effect to the whole footage now after that uh, you can add a little bit of color grading you can go into the uh, color settings here and tweak a little bit of settings and it will look and that that give you that dramatic cinematic effect now that's it guys this is how you achieve this particular settings and next time if uh, I'll, I'll post another video and in, in the meanwhile just like and give a subscribe and so that I know that you are liking this video and I have to make more.